What was meant to be a relaxing time in Big East River turned into a bit of a scary time for a group of people who ended up at Arrowhead Provincial Park. Paul Kalea with Huntsville Lake of Bay's Fire Department says that's when they got the call late Sunday night. I was actually contacted by our dispatch center that OPP was requiring assistance. That uh, they had, we were told at the time, three individuals that were stranded on the Big East River just located off of Big Bend, uh, Big Bend Lookout here at Arrowhead Park and wanted to know if, if we could go and assess the situation with them so that we could provide assistance. And we had four individuals actually, three adults and one youth, that were uh, at that time on the other side of the river. Uh, they were not in distress, but they had been there for a long time. Uh, and they were just looking for a way out actually. They, they couldn't go up or down river anymore. They were, they were tired, uh, they were hungry, and uh, because of the extreme elevations that we have in this area here and the, the, the bush that we had to deal with, we're just trying to get assistance on the way out and, and didn't know how, so that's where the call came out. We, we talked with OPP to, to let them know that we, we should be doing a, a single line rope rescue, which was gonna initiate off of the lookout point here, and that's what we did. We brought our heavy rescue in and, and uh, members that train on on low slope ro rope rescue for us. We did set up a, a single line system uh, and we were able using all of our harnesses, helmets uh, and different ropes and knots to be able to create a system to get each one of them up this bank uh, one at a time to safety and then bring our members back up. Kalea says the proper training and equipment employed by the Huntsville Lake of Bay's Fire Department allows rescues like this to be quick and safe for both firefighters and those that they're rescuing. We take on the responsibility that if someone does have an issue where they run into an emergency, that we're going to bring them out. And, and we've invested in the equipment, we've invested in the training. This is something that's evolved really over the last five years. Um, we did have an event here back in 2017 in this exact location, and we did have a, a, a lady and her dog that actually went over the bank. And so we uh, successfully rescued her and her dog as well, but we didn't have the equipment at the time and not necessarily the training we needed. So even though it, it was successful from the form of the outcome, it didn't go as well as it could have because of those factors. But we've since invested in that, and this was a completely different call, we'll say, than the one five years ago.